Hi, this is Peter Charles of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And these are my first impressions on using the G Lumas Pro 4X 12 foot 6 inch 6 7 weight. Now, this is a perfect rod for smaller rivers and bigger creeks, and I really enjoyed using it out in the Credit River. Now, the river at the time was high, dirty, and blown, and I was chucking T14 and a really big fly, and this little rod managed it just fine. So, check it out. Okay, I'm out in the Credit River and it's flowing pretty good. As you can see, the water is really dirty and uh, I'm not going to be able to wade too far out. So I'm going to have to be working my way down the bank. I've got trees up above me and behind me and trees in front of me. I can almost touch the bank. Not a lot of room. And I'm out here with the G Loomis Pro 4X 12 foot 6, 6, 7 weight spay rod. Relatively new addition to the Loomis lineup. It bends progressively throughout the blank and is a lovely moderate action. Really, really nice, easy action. Now, because I'm close to the bank here, I'm doing something I call a bent D single, which is a combination of a single spay where the D loop is shot straight upstream. So I'm, I'm actually shooting my D loop parallel with the bank and then basically side, ar side arming it out from there. Allows me to work under trees and uh, close to the bank where I can't put a D loop behind me. So off it goes and then side arm it out. Now, this is the thing the moderate action on this rod makes this kind of cast quite easy to execute. If this was a very stiff rod, this would be a harder cast to execute cleanly. Because uh, you have to maintain the load on the rod. It's just like a, a, any continuous uh, motion Skagit cast. You want to maintain the load on the rod. You don't want it to uh, go to a resting state. And when you have a moderate action rod, it makes this job easy. So basically what I'm going to do with this, pull it straight up, upstream, side arm it out. There we go. You can hear the thwack as my running line hits the sleeve of my jacket. Gives you an idea of the velocity this thing is uh, delivering this line. Okay, what I got on the end of this is an Airflow Compact Skagit. Uh, it's the new model with the high float uh, blue back end. I've got fish! Shoot, 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 shoot! Ah! Right along the bank on the dangle, right where he's supposed to be. Damn! There I am talking with it on the dangle and fish grabs it. Okay, let's start all over. Airflow, uh, compact Skagit, the new model with the blue back end and an Airflow flow tip T14. And I'm just going to pick this straight out and cast it. Look at that, about 70-75 feet right across the river. Pull that T14 and that big honking huge copper tube fly I've got on the end. Pull it straight out, no roll cast, nothing. This is what the action on this rod does for you. It really, really does make casting easy. It will pick up really heavy stuff. It will pick up big flies, it will pick up T14, and it will do it without a roll cast. And you see I just picked that straight up into the single. And no problem whatsoever. Okay, just to prove a point, this is how close I am to the bank. You can see I'm picking up bits off the bank here. I'm not going to make a cast from here. My biggest risk, of course, is keeping my running line out of the grass and the sticks. And I'll make a cast right from here. There we go. This is what this rod will do for you. This nice, pleasant, modern action enables you to maintain the load on the rod even in the most awkward of casting situations. I can easily execute that bent D single without much difficulty. Basically, I'm just casting my D loop up parallel to the bank and straight out. It violates the 180 degree principle for a um, 
single spay. But by using basically continuous motion, and continuous load is a more accurate statement, by maintain, using continuous load, I can uh, still execute a cast. And of course, uh, the moderate action makes it easy. I've done this cast with fast action rods, uh, but it's touchier. This Dirty Harry fly, uh, I've got it on my YouTube channel. It's a fantastic dirty water fly. I've had a huge, whoa, there, oh, jeez. Number two. Oh, that was brutal. Oh, what a head shake. I had that bugger hooked for a second. They're all along the bank, which is not surprising in, in this kind of conditions. Who says you can't do single space with a Skagit head? Okay, there's our fly. You can see it's longer than my uh, forefinger. That's about close to five inches long. Two inch copper tube. So it's quite a fly. I mean, here's the bank. We've got branches right in front of the camera. Right over. That's what this cast will do for you. And this is what this rod will do for you. It'll make this cast a piece of cake. And I'm going to get right in here. My shoulder's right in here. You can hear the branches scraping on my jacket. And just keep that D-loop out over the river. Out over the river. Bam. Worth learning how to single spay. And it's worth learning how to do it with a crooked D-loop. Okay, no fish in here. That's it for, I'm gonna go get some lunch. Same to you.